Yeah, I mean, what better way to uh, get people involved in your project other than to exploit their competitive spirit? So, yes, in 2008, David Baker's lab released Foldit, and they basically gamified this um, protein folding problem. So mm -hmm. it meant that any citizen in the world could now start using this, this kind of simulator that's based on Rosetta, so this really good model that kind of predicts very approximately how uh, well the the structure proposed is for, mm. for the sequence and um, yeah you can imagine that you're at home you have this sequence and you're kind of using a mouse to drag and twist and reshape this protein a bit like what Kieran was saying where mm. it's this horrible cotton wool mess and yeah. you're trying to just um, use your mouse to minimize this score so this in this case you want to minimize the energy score because okay. I think it represents like kind of how difficult it is for that structure so you want the easiest structure right it's yep. the most stable one so what was really cool, actually, is um, early career biologists, so people that obviously were researchers in biology, had intuitions about how things work in that space, mm. definitely not myself. Um, <laughs> but they actually outperformed a lot of algorithms, and that, oh, was, wow. that was really nice. Um, and in fact, a really famous success was in 2011, some Foldit players actually solved the crystal structure of a key HIV-related enzyme. Wow. Um, retroviral protease. Okay. All right? but, um, and that actually stumped uh, scientists working on it for, um, they were working on it for over a decade, whereas people playing Fold It managed to solve it in just three weeks. No so way. that Very is cool. a huge success. Oh, I think I had heard about this actually. And they were all creditors as authors, I think, weren't they? On the paper, yeah, it just said like the Fold It players. Oh, um, really? On, wow. on the publication, yeah. 